Well, how about Coffee Time friends? How y'all doing? It's me, John and Mama, here with Coffee Time with John and Mama. If you're not following our page, head on over to Facebook and check out Coffee Time with John and Mama. Here's our logo, Coffee Time with John and Mama. Now, our page has been on there over two years, and we have over 100,000 uh, people on there. So if it didn't say that, you could be on a duplicate page. All right, Mama, what are we eating today? I am fixing some fried chicken. I got a little whole chicken, and I've cut it up. And in this bowl, I've got my chicken, and I put uh, buttermilk, salt and pepper, and uh, ranch ranch powder. <laughs> a little bit of cayenne pepper. Just sprinkled it in here, and this has been marinating since uh, about three hours, four hours. Yeah, before I went to church, I did all of this. And so that's it. just the legs and the breast she cut up into tenders. Yeah, and two wings and two legs and tenders. Sounds delicious. So you're so, going to fry them in a skillet? Yeah, and I'm going to go over here and fix me some flour and some cornstarch and roll it and get this to frying so it won't be midnight when mm -hmm. we're eating. Mm -hmm. So while he's doing that, that's all I'm going to be a so so if, we're, if we're having fried chicken, we're going to have something to dip it in, right? Because it's like chicken tenders. So, you all have seen Mama make honey mustard dressing. I'm going to make barbecue honey mustard dressing. And the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add barbecue sauce to her original honey mustard recipe. Seems simple enough, doesn't it? But I'm going to make two batches. or I'm going to split the one batch and I'm going to put... Jar, I'm going to put just some plain old honey mustard and then I'm gonna make a little bit with barbecue uh, you can make it however you want it or however you think your family will eat how much you think your family will eat okay so let's just tilt down here hi folks how are you hi mama and John from what does that say Science Hill Kentucky hey Shirley how are you hey Mary Ann how are you good morning everybody it's a good to see y'all Let's tilt right down here. You can see that bowl and you're good to go. All right, so I'm going to read you the rules. And then we pretty well follow these because you know what I think? If I'm not mistaken, these are recreated rules that we made for our own needs. That's the only reason we really follow them, to be honest with you. This organic, uh -huh. I be great. So it's one cup of mayo of your choice. We're going to use uh, Duke's today. One fourth cup of mustard, one fourth cup of vegetable oil, and I would use vegetable oil, not olive oil. One fourth cup of honey, and try to get some local if you can because it helps with allergies. Uh, one small pinch of red pepper. Now we know Mama don't like much, but she does like it in this. One eighth teaspoon of onion salt, and one half to three fourths teaspoons of cider vinegar. That's it, folks. It's not very complicated. But uh, that's the ingredient list. So let's start out with our mayo. Duke's mayo. Somebody said we use something different than Duke's or something the other day. We do occasionally. We don't have it right here in our hometown. So if we run out of it, we use store brand or we'll use Kraft or we'll use something else occasionally. We just... We do Dukes if we can get to Dukes. If we can't, there's others that we like and we'll use. So you use whatever kind you want and it will be delicious. This is a brand new jar of Dukes. That's a good feeling, isn't it? I know. I know. I was going to try to use this jar and I've seen that other one. So let's just fill our little cup. And you know me, I'm generous and I do generous cups. And I'm going to start not doing generous now when it comes to Duke's Mayo. <laughs> what are y'all doing today? What are y'all eating today? Y'all probably very eating. It's 1 o'clock. I bet we're the only people in the world cooking Sunday lunch at 1 o'clock. Everybody else either eats at noon or eats at 1. Not us. We eat late, don't we, folks? What time we get from church? Yeah. Yeah. There is a generous cut, okay? Right into the bowl it goes. One cup of mayo. And it's gonna be good, it's gonna be delicious. So there's a cup. 
cup of mail. Let's put our lid back on there because y'all know we got a little gnat situation going here. The gnats are better. They're much better. We've used some of your all's remedies and we have um, put some more apple cider vinegar out. We've just done all kinds of stuff. So one fourth cup of mustard. I like French's mustard the very best. Now I'm tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this cup for this mustard because I don't want to mess up my one fourth cup with mustard just yet. Just pepper. <laughs> pepper gives us every time, Mama. I don't know what it is, but sorry for that noise. It's just mustard noise. All right. One fourth cup of mustard. Going right in the old bowl. Maggie's making her tour because she smells the chicken and she sees we're in here and she knows something's going on and there's going to be food in a minute. And even though when we make stuff, we normally give her her treats, I put, keep a I keep a few pepperonis on hand when I think she's going to be begging. And if we have something really smells good, like fried chicken, I hate for her not to have something. But the vet says, don't give her all that food. So we never really have, because we had another one before. And their stomachs can get really mixed up easily. And I don't want her to get sick. So I give her pepperonis, and she thinks we're being generous and nice to her. It's a little tricky, but it's just for her own good. <clears throat> Now that's the way it should look. See? That mustardy, uh, custardy yellow. So next is one fourth cup of vegetable oil. And that's the reason I didn't want to mess it up with mustard. And this is just store brand food club. This came from Food City. Food City oil. Our local sub lot, we get oil there too, but I guess I got this at Food City. So one cup of oil. Now we discovered something last time we made it. Mama left out this ingredient. I think she made it for you all too. I don't know. Was she yeah. And we both agreed we didn't tell no difference. So you could omit the oil, I guess. I done the oil first because I'm doing the honey next. And that oil will cause this honey to slide right out of there. This is not local honey, but it's Tennessee Mountain Sarawood honey, which is very good. I like to get local honey. We get it from uh, when the Lowe's has a, has sells it. I always buy it from them because it's just they're our neighbors, and that their honey would be the same area for us, so it should be extra good for allergies. In that goes, and it slides right out because I put oil in it first. Every drop of it's going to come right out, I believe. Good job, John. Sometimes you have to brag on yourself. That's just a fact, folks. Honey jars get so sticky, don't they? We keep it washed and everything. If we had kids, I'd blame it on them, but we don't. Still gets honey on it. <laughs> okay, that was the honey. One small pinch of red cayenne peppers. Mama, you want to watch this? No. I might think it's hot. <laughs> she says she gives it a couple of shake shakes. That's what I'm giving it. And um, a an eighth of a teaspoon of onion salt. Now, an eighth of a teaspoon is just a little bit. So I'm going to give it about that much right there. And I'm going to give it a little shake, shake of salt, and a shake, shake of pepper. The salt will increase the flavor of that honey. Oh, some of y'all have asked about these. We do still have these, uh, and they're on the side. They're not 
sky blue. They're a teal blue. I don't know what you're seeing. I'm seeing sky blue on there. These are more of a teal. And they're on until Wednesday. And then they're gone. Because about every broadcast, somebody asks me, do I, you still have the salt and pepper shakes? Yes, we do. Here they are. And you get those two shakes and a butter container for $19, which is like getting the butter container free. Very good stuff. I'm going to use that water bottle for a little bit of moisture. I'm going to have to get me a dish rag. So let's see. Salt, pepper. No pepper, John. No pepper. Just a touch of black pepper. Red pepper, black pepper. And we're done. That's it. Now let's mix. Can y'all see? This comment stopped. Uh, I don't think so. Maybe it happened. So now let's just give all this a stir. So that oil is sitting on top of there, folks. So you want to make sure you get all that incorporated and you don't want to stir too vigorously because it'll come out of your bowl. What I try to do when I'm putting the oil, see how it looks? It's going to look smooth in a minute. I try to fold it under, bring it over, over, under for a little while there and that will get the bottom on the top and the top on the bottom. That's what we're wanting. Then once it starts to blend, you can see it this sort of happens. Then you can give it the full stir stir. And you want to stir it good. Make sure it's all blended very well. You don't need a whisk or anything with this because there's nothing to beat the lumps out or anything. The mayonnaise emulsifies, the mustard does. And there it is, folks. Honey mustard dressing. That quick. I don't know what your favorite honey mustard is. Uh, some people say Ken. Some people say, you know, a restaurant that they go to. You can tweak it. You can kind of tell what um, ingredient, if it's sharper or if it's if it needs more vinegar or something like that. I didn't put the vinegar in. One half to three-fourths teaspoons of cider vinegar. I'm glad I said that because I left it out. So I'm just going to put about a half of a teaspoon. This is just apple cider vinegar. And it does give it that whang. The gnats like it. That's what I've been baking them with. It'll stir right in there. So I'm going to give this a taste taste. I have to say, it tastes like mama's. And that's great because that's her recipe. And I went right by. So that's it. And it's delicious. Let's go over it again for you people with a pencil and a piece of paper. It's one cup of mayonnaise. One fourth cup of yellow mustard. One fourth cup of vegetable oil. And I would use vegetable. Um, and one fourth cup of honey. A small pinch of red pepper. An eighth of a teaspoon of onion salt and a half a teaspoon of cider vinegar, apple cider vinegar, and a touch of salt and pepper to taste. And that's all I put in it. Um, Mom and I decided the other day when I made the honey French that even the avocado oil didn't taste the same as the vegetable oil, even though they don't really have a lot of taste. So I'm going to just strictly go with vegetable oil on my dressings. For now on, I thought the avocado oil, since it was tasteless, what would you, how would you describe it, Mama? It tasted good. Yeah. It, it just didn't taste what we used to. It didn't, wasn't what we was used to. So, I think maybe it makes a difference. So, I'm strictly going with vegetable oil from now on on all dressings. Just because, so if you've got the honey French dressing recipe, you can make that change if you want to. It wasn't that big a deal, and it still tastes delicious, and I've still eaten it three days this week, so it didn't hurt a thing. 
it just was a little different is all okay so now I'm going to I'm just going to make a little in this I'm going to make it in this cup actually so I'm going to add and this is something you can do with your honey mustard if you buy like Ken's or any or you don't have to make it homemade. This is just Montgomery Inn barbecue sauce. One of y'all sent it to me. I love it. It's sweet and tangy. It's a delicious flavor. Uh, really like it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a teaspoon of barbecue in there. Probably more than that when I get through, but That's a teaspoon. I'm going to put two teaspoons because I want barbecue. So two teaspoons of this delicious barbecue. And you just do whatever kind you want. Now I'm going to make sure this is mixed real well. And then I'm just going to pour this cup measure that I'm making it in. I know that ain't fancy, but it's okay. I'm going to make about a half a cup, three-fourths of a cup. <laughs> when it drips out, it'll be three-fourths of a cup. Get you back in there. Woo! Dressings are messy. Now I'm just going to stir this up and you'll watch the magic happen. It'll turn that barbecue-y looking in there. I can pretty well tell you by looking at it, because I've made it many times. If mama has honey mustard in the refrigerator in a jar, at some point in the week, I'm going to add barbecue to it and have me some barbecue honey mustard because I love it. And when she said she was doing fried chicken today, I said to myself, Self, it's barbecue honey mustard day. I did. And it's perfection. It's got just enough barbecue in it. You can see there. And that's what I'm going to dip my chicken in today. Mama, you want to try the flavor of this? And I'll make us up a little bit more if you want more. You might need a, a nudge more barbecue. So I'm going to add another half teaspoon. Two and two and a half teaspoons. At first, it was about right. This looks a little better. That looks a little better. You can see the difference. You want it to be honey mustard and barbecue, not just one or the other. So I was just tasting the honey mustard as I was tasting it out. That's it. All right, Mama, come over here and try this. I got flat on my fingers, but I'll try Here, I'll feed you. Just hand it to me. I'll feed myself left-handed. I got flat on my fingers. Okay. Mama, you want to try it? Here, wait, Mama. We won't get your true reaction. Now she's going back for seconds. I'm she's licking this food. Oh, now watch her say, I don't care for it. It's good. So you it's make a little. It's barbecue, but it's still got a good honey mustard. You want to make a little bit more fill this cup up for us? You make it just a little bit more. She says, yes, yeah, she's having some. So I'm going to go ahead and put right, my other. So this be a total of, in this one cup container, a total of three teaspoons of uh, barbecue. And I'm going to put some more in here. So about three teaspoons. You could say. <laughs> If you were going to make this just only this, I would add a fourth of a cup of barbecue to this amount I made total today. <laughs> and then, but just making it this cup, three teaspoons in it, be about right. 
Honey barbecue, you can buy, you can get that at a lot of restaurants. I don't know if you can buy it in the stores or not. I've never really tried to buy it in the stores. You can tell there the color difference. See the honey mustard and the barbecue. One cup will be enough for us for our chicken today. And I'm just going to leave in this cup. And since it's dirty and something else, you know we're anti-dirty here. We don't want dirty, nothing extra. It's not we don't want the dirty extra. Mama says we want to dirty everything in the house because we usually do. Just don't want to wash it. Now that I've added, I go. I'll be full of dressing. It's delicious, y'all. So that's honey mustard barbecue dressing, and you can use any kind you want. Um. I think you can get this online too, but you can use any kind you want to use. It's not too hot, is it, Mama? She said no. It's good. All right. So we'll have honey mustard, and we'll have honey mustard barbecue dressing. It's hard to say honey mustard barbecue. I want to say honey barbecue every time, but it's. That's not a true representation of what it really is, because it's honey mustard, barbecue style. Boy, that honey is everywhere. So, Mama's over here cooking, cooking up chicken. I'm gonna flip. I about flip the dressing over. That wouldn't have been good. I'm gonna flip y'all around and let you see her frying chicken. We caught you in your mess, Mama. Look at fried chicken. I said, Did you all notice as soon as I flipped her, she stepped out of it? She's like a magnet. There's that beautiful fried chicken. Mama, that's a lot of fried chicken. I, I see two skillets of chicken. Uh, someone said, if I always had it right there, it costs $200 to get to the ground. Because I want some for breakfast. But now this was just a whole chicken, right? Well, no, I didn't try the, the legs or the back and stuff because I cooked all of them. Not the legs. I'm trying the legs. The thighs. The thighs. So this is a whole chicken in those two skillets plus a kettle back there with boiled chicken in it. That gray kettle has got boiled chicken in it, which is the thighs in oh, that kettle. It's the thighs and what? Uh, the fat, the skin, fat. The fat, fat, the skin, the chicken, all that will make a wonderful broth. Now that chicken's about done. She's going to fry it on that side about six more minutes. And uh, it'll be done. Look how golden, brown, delicious. Delicious. Alright, so there's what Mama's up to. Y'all know what I'm up to. I'm over here making dressings. Somebody was asking about the Montgomery. Some one of y'all sent this to me. It's sweet and tangy original Montgomery Inn barbecue sauce, family owned since 1951. And on the back it says in 1951, Ted the Ribs King Gregory. Open the now famous Montgomery Inn restaurant in the sleepy village of Montgomery, Ohio. So it's from Montgomery, Ohio. Um, but it was the secret barbecue sauce created by Ted's wife, uh, Mat Matula, that really put the place on the map. It's a tasty, so legendary that movie stars, athletes, and even uh, U.S. presidents go out of their way to make it stop. No wonder I like it. That's what it looks like. You can get that online. We're not sponsored. This is just um, 
Somebody sent it to us and I fell in love with it. I'm like a president or a movie star. I love it. <laughs> you don't have to be either. Uh, it's delicious. It's tangy and sweet, just like it says. Sweet and tangy. Um, that, I think, maybe I might have bought this online. But somebody sent me some. I think we used it all. Huh? Mama says she thinks somebody sent that, but I think I might have bought some since somebody sent it because it's delicious. I hope I always have a little bit of it because it's good. We use Sweet Baby Ray sometimes. We use other. We don't like real hot, hot barbecue, but we do like sweet tangy. I like a little tang to it. don't hurt a bit to have tang. Um, but I don't want it hot, hot. Let's see what y'all are up to. John, do you have... Hey... I can't find my thing. I am absolutely locked up again. I'm back to is watching. I touched it a while ago. Maybe I shouldn't. Do I have this recipe posted for the barbecue? No, it's not. But it's just Mama's honey mustard, and then add barbecue to your taste, and whatever barbecue you want. Let's see what you all are asking here. How do you get your fried chicken so golden, um, Melinda? The key to good chicken is getting that breading to stay on there. Um. Put a tablespoon of cornstarch in your dredge in your flour. In our flour, we put flour, about a cup, maybe a half, cup and a half. We put a couple of tablespoons of ranch dry dressing mix, a dash dash of red pepper, and a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half of cornstarch. Now anything you're breading, whether it's chicken, fish, pork chops, or vegetables, that cornstarch helps adhere that breading to your main, what are you frying? Another thing is you got to fry it hot. You got that oil hot. When you put it in there, you should hear it singing. If you don't hear it singing, that sizzling, shh, it ain't ready. So drop you a little bit of flour on your oil to see if it's ready. Some or do you want with this chicken? I can. I wasn't prepared to make it, but we don't have to prepare. Do you want coleslaw? Not particularly. You don't particularly want it? No, I mean, if you want it, I'll eat some. Well, I'll get the stuff and you, we'll make this a small, small amount, Mama. Um, you come over here and sing and dance for them? Yeah, I'll get you. Cabbage. No, I'm going to make a very small amount, Mama. These little baby carrots, all right. Yes, ma'am. And I'll get the chopper and the cutting board. Will you talk to people right quick? Wow. She would walk to the moon before she would agree to come over here and talk to y'all. No, it's not so. She talks. When I'm sitting here, she'll talk. Has this been washed already, Mama? We'll just wash the half. I wash it all and I'll cut half. I'm gonna have to run there and get the chopper. Uh, I don't think you can, Mama. Yeah, I don't think you can. Mama fights against me. Of 
course you have, Mama. I may not have. I'm guilty of not doing it. You did good, Mama. Look here. Everything's just right here that we need. You ever heard the term independent as a hog on ice? That's a southern term saying. And that's mama. You know, I told y'all about her um, rotilling and sewing and doing all that stuff the day I was not here. And she said that wasn't true. She didn't wait till I wasn't here to do stuff. It just happened that way. Well, I was, I worked from home the following day. <laughs> Didn't leave the house. Did nothing dangerous. Made lunch. Watched TV and crochet. I came, I came through and I said, you're not going to trim trees or climb on the house or nothing the day I'm here? What about the garden? Don't you need to plant another rose? No, I'm good. There's a little noise involved here, but that's cooking. If you would hand me that dish rag right there, I will clean up this honey. I don't know how honey off a jar got so mobile. It's everywhere. I mean, not bad. Just Sticky, sticky. I want my carrots really small for this cold saw, but I enjoy grading them up anyway. I don't oh, thank you for leaving that. Cause everything I touch, I find a little bit more honey. If you y'all do that when you use honey, it, it never leaves. Take good care of Mama Katie. I'm trying. It takes a village to raise a mama as independent as this one. My mama's apron, pretty sunflower. Somebody sent that to her and I'll tell you, it's a, mama come here. It's a, I don't know what to call it. It's a vinyl? It's a vinyl like or something, but it's waterproof. You can see the back of it's it. It's water in grease, so when she does chicken or frying anything, this is her frying apron, this is her water apron, this is my messy, messy apron, but it remains beautiful. It's got pockets in it. Mm -hmm. I think this is one of your favorites, isn't it? Yes, I love sunflowers. She loves sunflowers and she loves that apron. Whoever sent it, we thank you again. Um, appreciate it. So there's the carrots. They're all finely chopped. Y'all know I got in trouble one time for making carrots flop. I'm having flashbacks. Mama, that was just three baby carrots. That was good. I'm proud of you. But what if I don't have enough cabbage to... This is the smallest little head of cabbage. Where'd you get this? I bought it at the store, and it was so fun. It's as big as a baseball. That's it. And it was green and pretty, and I thought... I love raw we cabbage. We don't need much more than that to eat, so... You said to yourself... I'm going to get that cabbage because every time he makes slaw, he makes way too much, and I keep telling him not to. Right. He won't make too much with that head. That's right. That's exactly what runs through my mind. I know her. It's sweet. It's good. Tastes wonderful. Delicious cabbage. But when you bring me a fourth of a head of cabbage, you can tell me to use half of it. It's all about the control in it, Mama. Yeah. All about the control. All right. Well, you didn't put that on there, right? I saw them to me, Mama. Well, now you got. 
No, there ain't no carrot big enough to get hung. This is all cabbage that I got hung. That's where I stopped it. I stopped it in mid. Roller coaster. I'm almost talking about roller coasters. If it stops in mid air. Yeah. Like if it's turning up and on a loop. Oh, I don't know. I don't know, Mama. But I tell you one thing, if I'm on a roller coaster, I don't want it to stop. Ain't that nerve wracking when they just stop? We we had stood in line was it years ago when this little in Nashville the Wild Bash Cannonball. The Wild Bash Cannonball. Y'all remember uh, Opera Land? And did we ride it? And we stood in line and stuff and he said, I don't think I want to ride it. And I said, we're going to ride it. In the same way when we went to Disney World, you were us little and young like, and you, Space Mountain, after, right after he first put it in, Space Mountain, they been in the hall. And you said, it's dark and all stuff. You said, I'd rather not ride this. Let's go. I said, we're riding this if it kills you. <laughs> we stood in line for an hour or so for it. Did you hear what she said? <laughs> We're riding this if it kills you. Now that's how spoiled I was. You're riding it if it kills you. It's good in line for us. Oh, oh, Alexa just started spelling <laughs> hours. <laughs> Carrots. All I'm going to do now is. This is Mrs. Schubert's. Mrs. Schubert's rose. I'm cheating. This is right here. You can show them the bag. And I'm putting six in the oven. Mama, you're not on the camera. Come here. Come here. Oh, oh my rose wasn't on there. There they are. Who? We need a director and a camera person. Me and Mama both. We might need a camera person. <laughs> Say that again, Mama. You know it's the truth. I said we wouldn't listen to the director. It wouldn't do no good to have one. You don't listen to me, do you? <laughs> no, I don't. No, I sure don't. No, you don't, Mama. But you don't have to. I just wish you would sometimes. I don't. We established the pecking order years ago. Mama's definitely the boss. Now, I know y'all see this little sweet woman. And everybody says, Mama is so sweet. Mm-hmm. She is. But you don't cross her because she'll show you sweet. You'll be The only sweet thing then when you cross her is you're praying to sweet Jesus to get you out of it. I only that way to you to make you mine. Mm-hmm. I hear you, Mama. Well, that's the truth. I just want you to mind. Put them carrots. <laughs> and, uh... What is it they say? Parents get their bluff on their kids. I thought it was you pay for your raising. Now, I wasn't mean. I was a good kid. I've heard stories. You didn't hear bad stories on me. Mama, I've heard stories. Okay. Sneaking off, swinging up great guns all day, swinging out over bluffs, climbing trees, smoking rabbit tobacco at the barn. No, not at the barn. Daddy would have got us. Where'd you smoke your rabbit tobacco? Yeah, the Tell them what rabbit tobacco is. It's an old weed that goes out in the field. Whitish, like fuzzy like stuff on it. Fuzzy like stuff? It was grayish, whitish. It was awful. <laughs> What'd you smoking in, Mama? 
Rolled up poke paper by the bike. Y'all know what poke paper is? <laughs> poke paper is brown paper bags you get at the grocery store. You get a poke, and that's poke paper, that brown paper. And they would, she had brothers and sisters. It was like the Waltons at her house. A lot of times if we're watching the Waltons, Mama said, that's what we did. Well, that sounds just like what Mama did. That sounds like what we did when we was kids. It's just so funny. I hope this fixes this. Mama has this slaw looking. Too much ca uh, carrots? No, we'll, we'll go for whatever it is. You got sugar over there? Fixed it. Uh, no, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Right here in the sugar bowl of sugar. Um, now, Mama never has smoked like a pack of cigarettes or a cigarette even. But for some reason, as kids, that was a big thing to do in her day. Was just to light up or to roll up to rabbit tobacco and they would talk about smoking it. My aunt, she used to smoke it. Um, I'm going to, I don't normally do this, but you can do it. I'm just going to make this right here in the bowl because I don't want to dirty another bowl to have to wash another bowl. If you do it right, you can do it this way. It's kind of like making biscuits and flour. If you do it right, you can do it this way. So what I'm going to do is just put my mayonnaise in there. I'm going to spread him out a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and put my sugar in here. Just a little bit of sugar. This is a, a half a teaspoon, so about a teaspoon of sugar. Maybe an ounce more. Who knows? That's just the sugar bowl. And this is just red wine vinegar. Huh? Did you break the sugar bowl? No, ma'am. Did you hear something loud? And I'm putting about a good tablespoon of this tablespoon and a half red wine vinegar. Someone asked me about red wine vinegar. I did read it does have a little red wine in it, but you would have to drink so many gallons to get drunk. And I don't think nobody's going to get drunk on vinegar. And if you mix it like this, you can mix those ingredients up in there and they'll mix up real well and you just fold in your cabbage around the edges and you'll have it made. I normally whip it in a bowl or something but you don't have to in this. This is just plain old slaw today. I think the last time I made it with y'all I put some more ingredients in it and we ate that. It was good but we don't want that every time. When we do, we're going to do uh, fried chicken and slaw. We want just plain old slaw. Now that looks a little dry and it may still be in a minute but I'm going to give it a minute and if I need to then I'll add a little bit more of the mayo. Cabbage is mostly water and it will get watery. You don't want yours watery. Don't make it too uh, too much to start with. You know? And just because I have to, gotta clean that bowl. If you mix something in a bowl and you're gonna eat it or put it on the table, Mama says it has to be cleaned. And I bet you a bunch of you out there are saying, yes, John, you better clean that bowl before you put it on the dinner table. Is that what you're saying? Well, I'm curious about what y'all are saying. And I can't read and cook. So I'm going to quit cooking. My mom through. Pulled that right together. Let's have coffee and chat until we get this wrapped up. Chicken's tuck up. Rolls are in the oven. Mashed potatoes are ready to be mashed. Green beans are cooked. Coleslaw is made. Cold slaw is made. What am I doing? Mashed potatoes. Oh, mashing them taters. 
Mama, they said they started watching me mashed potatoes. They've seen it enough. They like to watch it work. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Clean this counter off. You think you're moving that on my hand? See, I got two hands to your one, though. I know, <laughs> but I couldn't get it all off. All right, let's see what's up. Is it moving? Are we back to real words? How was church, y'all? It was great. We had a wonderful service. We had a good crowd. We didn't come on at all yesterday, and I'll tell you why. We started early and we finished late. Our little church event was a wonderful success. The kids enjoyed it. Um, we had bounce houses. We had a cornhole game. Y'all know what that is? It's a slanted board with a hole in it. You take a bag of beans and you throw it kind of like horseshoes. It's just safer than horseshoes. And um, you get points. And uh, we had ring toss and they had the kids, tons of little kid games. But them kids bounced in that house forever. I was just told, Chopper is Tupperware. I'm going to order it ASAP. The Chopper is Tupperware. Uh, and it's on Mama's site. And I will post it on here in the comments as soon as uh, we finish. And it's on there. It's always on there. It's not uh, just a sometime item. It's called the Supersonic Chopper now. They changed the name of it. We called it Chopper from day one. <laughs> we did. Um, we love the chopper, and if you all watch this any, um, you know we use it almost every meal for something, and it's wonderful. You can over chop in it because I pull the string too many times. Because every time you pull that string, it's like twelve knife cuts. Uh, hello from South Bend, Indiana. Hey Tina Ford, how are you? South Bend, Indiana. Today is oh wait, today is my eighty second birthday. These things are jumping. And I'm celebrating with you. Betsy Pont um help me with your name. Pontix. P O N T I K E S. Happy eighty second birthday, Betty. Betsy. B E T S Y. Happy birthday, Betsy. Everybody send some hearts up for Betsy. Betsy, this next bunch of hearts coming up through there are all for you. Happy birthday to you. Everybody tell her happy birthday. Hello, John and Mama. Hope you're doing well. We are, Gwen. We are. Hope you all are, too. We are blessed, blessed, and more blessed. The Lord blesses us every morning to wake up. We were talking about that in church this morning. Every day's a good day. There's good days. There's better days, and there's great days. But they're all good. When you're on the wake-up list, count it as a good day. Betsy, you see those hearts? Happy birthday. Uh, does Tupperware still sell the onion keeper? Yes, they do. I think they still have them. And they have a garlic keeper on special. <laughs> Get free prayers. <coughs> they have a garlic keeper on special <laughs> this month for until Wednesday. It's the teal blue where the other one was red or black. It's the teal blue. You can go on the site and check them out. And they are wonderful. The garlic keepers are wonderful. We were at a, a Tupperware meeting last Saturday, and they were talking about, you know, Tupperware not recommending or nothing, but they were talking about that a lot of people use the garlic keepers with a little lid on it for the, and this is a brand name, but it's the Tide Pods or any pod, and they keep it on their laundry room, and they just fill them full, uh, the garlic keeper full of those Tide Pods, and they have them right there handy. Um... <laughs> you have a garlic keeper, don't you, Mama? Yeah, but I got it's in here in this, right in there. In I just, the, got just got one. Yeah, you got one. I got you another one. When they said to use them for laundry stuff, I thought I thought we could use that for in the laundry room. But anyhow, that's not what Tupperware says to do with them, but that's what people say to do with them. But we were talking about. Uh, Multiple uses is what I want. Right, you know. Instead of just one use for the items, you can have multiple uses. Like that for the pod items. And I know some of y'all aren't into the Tupperware thing, and that's fine. I don't blame you. Uh, I'm not into nothing anyway. I mean, I don't collect anything, but uh, we're just talking now. I'm not this into Tupperware demo. Some people get mad. They get a little sideways. 
we don't want anybody to be stressed or sideways, so we always put it in the comments when that's all we're going to do. But now, someone said the other day, you didn't put it in the comments and you said Tupperware. Well, I'll say whatever. But um, we were just talking about it. So there's a difference. And you'll see our videos. You know a difference. When we're just doing Tupperware, it'll say it. These potatoes are turning out beautiful, which is good for some wonderful fried chicken. But anyway, you can go on Mama's Tupperware site and see the garlic keeper, salt and pepper, the butter. That butter thing actually, it basically comes with it free. Uh, and that butter thing holds four sticks of butter. I was trying to think what they call it. Oh, Mom, we have butter out all the time. We have butter in the refrigerator all the time. Mama uses it different ways. If you're making pastries, you want your butter cold as you can get it. In fact, you want to put it in the freezer. So in this one here, we've got a butter dish where we put our, you've seen it, the white one. And then in this one, Mama always leaves it in the plastic, or, you know, the cellophane, or the butter sticks, because of the measurements on top. I guess you all knew that. So if you baked any, but it tells you how many tablespoons. And you can cut off exact amounts. So this is more for pies and stuff like that that she makes. And it stays in the refrigerator. It's not today. What do you buy? Did you get it out to, uh, to rolls? Or just uh, to show it? Just to show with the salt. Oh, okay. Alright, I see what you're saying. So there's the mashed potatoes, folks. Mashed and ready to go. Creamed, what do you want to call them? And we just use evaporated milk. We call it cream. That's that. For this man. Well, there it is. You want the masher, don't you? welcome so it's coming together now let me show you this code flag y'all seen it while I go you somebody probably thought it was dry but see it's getting a nice creaminess to it now it might need one more little spoonful of mayonnaise just to keep it from being too dry it'll, the cabbage will moisten it'll moisten okay, you don't want this to serve it with do you I'll use my fork. Uh, clean. Okay, Mama, you go. It's clean. You go for it. I wouldn't want to use your fork. I was afraid you might get in trouble using a fork. Yeah, it's clean. I'd use my fork. All right, let's see what's what. This barbecue dressing has got to be brought nearer. Nearer. I've got tea. Y'all sweet tea and coffee. Ouch. What a wonderful lunch, Mama. Oh, thank you. And here's the green beans. I gotta have a spoon. Let me show y'all this beautiful lunch. And there's Mama. Look at those beautiful peanut green beans. People always ask about those. That's just the type of green bean that we grow. It's a bush bean. It's a heirloom bean. And see the little beans in there? They kind of look like little peanuts. Look at that beautiful plate of fried chicken. See how all that breading stayed right on that ch chicken? It didn't crumble off. That's because we put a little bit of cornstarch in it. There are some cream potatoes just made. Honey mustard dressing rolls and come right around to that cold slaw. And that's my sure, Mama. I need a full vice. Look at that tea. Thank you, Mama. Let's flip back and we will get ready and bless this meal and we'll be ready to eat this meal. And then we'll let y'all go because we've had you on here a long time. But, folks, some people say yins are too long. Well, we got two choices in this matter. We can start a meal, and I can upload pictures in the comments, or we can come back with a part two, 
after we've cooked it. Or we can chat during the middle and then you can rewatch it and go fast forward through it. I guess you got more than two choices. But um, we most people say just stay on until it's done. We want to see the finished product. So that's kind of what we do. If y'all think differently, we'll uh, we'll do differently, but that's the best we could come up with. Let's bless it, Mama. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful meal. We thank you for these precious hands that prepared it, dear Lord. Just bless it for the nourishment of our bodies, dear Lord. Be with all the prayer requests that are out there, those spoken and those unspoken, dear Lord. Put a hedge of protection around each and every one of us and put a hedge of protection around each child, dear Lord, as they go to school, that they'll be safe. And dear Lord, we just watch over our country and our nation and our world. In your precious name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, Mama, I know... Potatoes. You want potatoes. Mm -hmm. No. Mama says stuff. Mama's got code talk. And she'll say to me sometimes, so what you want, Mama? She'll say it don't good. matter. And I'll say, um, you want this or that? And she'll say, whatever you want. Which means usually whatever. If she says, I want some real food. Real food is code for mashed potatoes. When she says, I want some real food... That means we're having mashed potatoes and green beans or peas or corn or something else. You know, I wanted you some corn that was left over the other day that from that cowboy. Okay. From the, oh, the cowboy? No, from the tater top casserole. Tater top casserole. That casserole was so good, and it's still good. I ate it, some of it uh, for lunch yesterday. I forget what I was talking about earlier. I told you all about our thing yesterday. So we started early, and uh, we were going to come back and film. It was supposed to last until 6.30. But everybody had so much fun. It was time we cleaned up and everything. It was really getting close to 7.30, wasn't it, Mama? It was getting late. Everybody and was so exhausted. We were just dead tired. So we came home. And Mama didn't think of it much, and I didn't. And I said, we didn't even film it. Why don't we just film at church? We could have filmed at church. And Mama said, I know. I didn't think it. We were just having... Yes, please. Yes, ma'am. She said, we were just having a good time. So we failed to film yesterday, but uh, we didn't cook. We didn't do a thing. Uh, if we had a film last night, you would have said, boy, you are tired. Because we were. We wasn't hardly holding our heads up straight. Uh, we were tired. Let's try this chicken and barbecue honey mustard. See if it's just as good as I remember. I'm sure it will be. Yummy. Yummy, yummy. Now, Mama, yummy. there's regular honey mustard there if you want it, I too. I got... Yeah. Uh, you want barbecue, too? I'll get me a bite of yours if I want it. I ain't got everything coming to me. <laughs> no, Mama, you don't. That's what your daddy always worried about. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think we got it all, Mama. Mm -hmm. Use my fingers. They were made for forks anyway. <clears throat> What's your verdict on the honey, barbecued honey mustard? It's good for a change. It is good. Not too hot, is it, Mama? No. Hello, John and Mama. Hey, uh, let's see. My, my, my glasses. Eula, how are you? Hey, Gwen. Stay on, don't pause. Thank you, Gwen. <laughs> if you're ever watching our videos live, I guess there's not much you can do with it. But, you know, if you're doing a replay, if you we get to a stall part, you can fast forward a little bit. Um, but most of the time, we're just chitting and chatting and cooking and it takes a minute to cook stuff. It really does. But anyhow, we love spending time with y'all anyway, and we love seeing y'all here. We love sharing your birthdays, your anniversaries, and uh, the good times and the bad. We want to pray for you, and we want you to pray for us. We're all in this world together. We have valleys, and we have mountaintops, and none of us are ever going to be on the same page at the same time with those things, but when we are... It's good to know you have friends that will pray for you and uh, see you through those hard times and friends who will celebrate with you and be with you during the good times. And that's what Coffee Time is all about. We're all about positive and uh, just injecting a little bit of positivity in this world. 
uh, we just want to take a moment. That's the reason it's called coffee time. Because most people will sit down and enjoy a cup of coffee at some point if they're coffee drinkers or tea. And that's all we want this to be. Just It's not about the coffee. It's more about the time. So we just want you to sit down, relax, enjoy your day. Take your mind off your worries for just a minute. Cook a bit, talk a bit, enjoy a bit. So thank you for being with us. We appreciate you so much. And you all have a blessed Sunday. Um, we but might pop on later, huh? Before you close... I want to wish my sister a very, very happy birthday today, and and I don't want to tell her, her tell her age on there, but I'm 74, and she's six years older than me. So happy, happy birthday, Bernice! And y'all said she wasn't sneaky. <laughs> Happy oh. birthday, Bernice. We love you. Bernice, is, love Bernice is like another mother. Uh, she's Her mama's always been close. And uh, she's like another mother to me. And her, her kids and I are like brothers and sisters. So She so, don't have no sisters. <laughs> we don't have no sisters in that Well, <laughs> they're not like brothers to me. But like I'm talking about mama's sister's kids. Yeah. And I oh. are more like brothers and sisters than we are first cousins. Because we're all within a year of each other. And uh, we, we're not all of us, but all of the older ones. There's two sets. There's some older ones and some younger ones. But uh, the, the group that was the first ones, there's just a year or two between any of us. And we grew up together at Mamma and Papa's, and uh, we just feel like we're brothers and sisters. So makes oh, it yeah. a good thing. So anyway, so, I'm confused. Happy, happy birthday, Bernice. Happy I'll birthday. Love to you. Y'all shoot up some hearts for my Aunt Bernice. She'll love it. She's, Bernice, these are for you. She's special. Yeah. We love y'all. We thank y'all. And we're going to let y'all go. We might pop on later if we do something. I don't know what we'll do. Um, but we will, uh, if we do, we'll share it with you. If not, you'll know that we're just sort of probably vegging, taking it easy, sitting on the porch or something. Resting the rest of the day. It's raining after. here. It's going to rain. Mm -hmm. All right, Mom, you got anything to add? No. All right. You Let's don't see. have no potatoes, and they need salt. I forgot to put the salt in. Oh, I don't have everything coming to me? No. I guess I don't. Yeah, so I had to tell you. Well, I'm glad you told me. Yes. If I got through and hadn't ate no potatoes. You've been like your daddy. Why didn't you tell me I didn't have it all? Folks, that's like downtown. Mashed potatoes, cold slaw, chicken, green beans, and a roll. Delicious. And a good deal. And who? Good deals. Oh, and good dips. Forgot about <laughs> Let's go, folks. Y'all have a great Sunday. Have a blessed day. And have a wonderful day tomorrow if we don't see you again. Goodbye. Bye, y'all. Mama, bye-bye.